गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस लेक्चर ऑफ क्वांटम मैकेनिक्स वी विल डिस्कस आर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज गॉजियन वेव पैकेट एंड दिस क्वेश्चन इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो वॉट इज गॉजियन वेव पैकेट एज वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड हैजनबर्ग अनसर्टेंटी प्रिंसिपल एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू हैजनबर्ग अनसर्टेंटी प्रिंसिपल इफ एनी फंक्शन पार्टिकल विच इज इन मोशन देर विल बी a wave packet associated with the motion of that particle and there will be certain amount of uncertainty in position of the particle as well as in its momentum so according to hagenberg we cannot measure the position and the momentum of the particle simultaneously and accurately and there will be certain amount of uncertainty according to which the product of the two uncertainties that is delta x into delta px it will always be greater than or equal to h cut by 2 now what is this gaussian wave packet this gaussian wave packet is the wave packet which is associated with the particle which is in motion and for this wave packet the product of uncertainty in position and momentum is minimum so that wave packet for which the product of position so it is the wave packet for which the product of uncertainty in position and momentum is minimum minimum means delta x into delta px it is equal to h cut by 2 so now we will derive the wave function for this gaussian wave packet because the particle for which the wave packet is the gaussian wave packet there will be some wave function and the wave function for gaussian wave packet what is its expression we will derive that so for that suppose psi be the wave function which is associated with the particle which is in motion and whose wave packet is gaussian wave packet and to derive this expression of psi for gaussian wave packet we need some mathematical calculations so for which we have considered two functions function f and function phi and what are these functions in this hagenberg's uncertainty principle we have position coordinate as well as momentum coordinate it means we will deal with the position operator and momentum operator linear momentum operator and what we will do we will operate position operator over psi and it will give us some another function some new function and suppose that function is phi when we operate position operator over psi then it will get converted into new function that is phi and what is f when we operate this momentum operator linear momentum operator p over psi then it will give us new function that is f so we have this f is equal to p psi and linear momentum operator is equal to minus i uta h cut curly by curly x we have already studied it so suppose this as equation 2 and what is phi when position operator is being operated over psi so suppose this as equation 3 and what we have to prove is that pr this product it is minimum and if this product is minimum it means there is relation between x and p and if there is relation between x and p then there must be some relation between phi and f so if the wave packet is the gaussian wave packet then the product of uncertainty is minimum and there is relation between x and p then there must be some relation between these two functions phi and f so how these phi and f are related to each other so suppose phi and f are related to each other by this relation phi is equal to alpha into f where alpha is constant and now we need to know the nature of this constant that this alpha constant it is real quantity or it, it is imaginary quantity or it is complex 
so for that consider this integral integral complex conjugate of function f into phi tx and what is f f is minus iota h cut curly psi by curly x then what will be its complex conjugate it will be plus iota h cut curly psi star by curly x and what is the value of phi it is x psi in terms of psi phi is x psi so we have this and what is the value of phi in terms of f from equation fourth it is alpha f why we are putting this phi is equal to alpha f because our aim is to study the nature of alpha so that's why we have put this phi is equal to alpha f then as this alpha is constant to uh, so take it outside the integral and what is this if this function f it is normalized as psi is the normalized function so this f will also be a normalized function so integration complex conjugate of f its product with f integration over dx it will be equal to 1 because f is normalized wave function and on this side we have this so from here we can conclude that this alpha it is equal to this according to this equation fifth and from this equation fifth you can conclude that here we have iota and this psi star it is also having iota this psi it is also having iota this iota into iota will be iota square which is a real quantity but this iota it will make this whole right hand side imaginary therefore what is the nature of alpha alpha is imaginary constant and if alpha is imaginary constant then this relation between phi and f it will change because alpha is imaginary now we know the nature of alpha so how this equation fourth that is relation between phi and f will change suppose now this relation between phi and f is this phi is equal to plus minus iota alpha f and what is phi phi is x i what is f f is p i and what is p it is minus iota h cut curly by curly x now this iota into iota will be iota square iota square is minus 1 and that minus and this minus it will be plus so we have x i it is equal to plus minus h cut alpha curly psi by curly x now we have to solve the integral how separation of variables separate the variables on both sides move x variable on one side and psi variable on another side so we have done the separation of variables so we will have this equation now integrate this equation integrating above equation what we will get integration of d psi by psi it is equal to plus minus 1 by h cut alpha integration of x dx so this implies integration of dx by x it is always natural log of x so here we will have natural log of psi which is equal to plus minus 1 by h cut alpha integration of x will be x square by 2 plus constant of integration so what it will be it will be psi this natural log when you will take this natural log to this side it, it will become exponential so exponential raised to power plus minus x square by 2 h cut alpha plus constant of integration and you can write it as psi it is equal to e raised to power constant into e raised to power plus minus 1 by 2 h cut alpha into x square and this e raised to power constant it will be another constant and suppose this constant as n e raised to power plus minus 
बीटा स्केयर एक्स स्केयर वेयर दिस बीटा स्केयर इट इज इक्वल टू वन बाई टू एच कट अल्फा एंड देन वी विल रिमूव दिस पॉजिटिव साइन पॉजिटिव साइन इज ओमिटेड वाई बिकॉज फॉर पॉजिटिव साइन आर एक्सप्रेशन विल बी लाइक साई इज इक्वल टू एन ई रेस टू पार प्लस बीटा स्केयर एक्स स्केयर एंड फॉर दिस हेयर वी विल हैव विच इम्प्लाइज साई अप्रोचेस टू इन्फिनिटी एट एक्स अप्रोचेस टू प्लस माइनस साई अप्रोचेस टू एन साई अप्रोचेस टू एन एट एक्स अप्रोचेस टू साई अप्रोचेस टू इन्फिनिटी यस बिकॉज वेन एक्स अप्रोचेस टू प्लस इन्फिनिटी और माइनस इन्फिनिटी हेयर वी विल हैव इन्फिनिटी सो ई रेस टू पार प्लस इन्फिनिटी विल बी इन्फिनिटी सो साई अप्रोचेस टू इन्फिनिटी एज एक्स अप्रोचेस टू प्लस माइनस इन्फिनिटी विच इज रॉन्ग वाई बिकॉज ओनली दोज वे फंक्शन आर एक्सेप्टेबल फॉर विच साई अप्रोचेस टू जीरो एट एक्स अप्रोचेस टू प्लस माइनस इन्फिनिटी सो देर फोर वी विल ऑमिट दिस पॉजिटिव साइन सो साई इज इक्वल टू एन ई रेस टू पार माइनस बीटा स्केयर एक्स स्क्वेयर वी हैव दिस एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ साई नाउ वॉट इज द नेक्स्ट स्टेप सपोज दिस इक्वेशन एज इक्वेशन सिक्स now we have to find the value of this n and how we will find the value of this n by the normalization condition so according to normalization condition so according to normalization condition we have integration of psi star psi dx it will be equal to 1 when x approaches to minus infinity to plus infinity so put the value of psi here we have minus infinity to plus infinity value of psi is n e raised to power minus beta square x square then what will be the value of psi star it will be n e raised to power minus beta square x square dx it is equal to 1 so we have n square minus infinity to plus infinity e raised to power minus 2 beta square x square dx it is equal to 1 then we will solve the this integral by this putting this 2 beta square x square is equal to y square then put 2 beta square x square it is equal to y square then this implies this implies 2 beta square 2x dx it will be equal to 2y dy this 2 and 2 it will be cancelled out so we have dx it is equal to y dy divided by 2 beta square x and what is the value of y y will be 2 root 2 beta x so this x and x will be cancelled out this beta and beta will be cancelled out and we have dx is equal to dy upon root 2 beta so put this value and this value in this equation 7 put these values in equation 7th and what we get we get this n square integration from minus infinity to plus infinity 
e रेज टू पार माइनस वाई स्केयर एंड डी एक्स इज डी वाई अपॉन रूट टू बीटा इट इज इक्वल टू वन एंड दिस इज द स्टैंडर्ड इंटीग्रल एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ द स्टैंडर्ड इंटीग्रल इज रूट पाई सो पुट दिस इज इक्वल टू रूट पाई एंड वी हैव एन स्केयर इन टू रूट पाई अपॉन रूट टू बीटा इट इज इक्वल टू वन सो वट इज एन स्केयर एन स्केयर विल बी रूट टू बीटा अपॉन रूट पाई सो वट विल बी एन दिस इंप्लाइज एन विल बी रूट टू बीटा अपॉन रूट पाई रेस टू पार वन बाय टू सो विच इंप्लाइज एन इज इक्वल टू टू रेज टू पार वन बाय फोर बीटा रेज टू पार वन बाय टू एंड द स्पाई रेज टू पार वन बाय फोर now 2 raised to power 1 by 4 we have pi raised to power 1 by 4 and we have to convert the power of beta as 1 by 4 how you will convert this 1 by 2 into 1 by 4 by multiplying the numerator by 2 and denominator by 2 so we have n is equal to 2 raised to power 1 by 4 beta square raised to power 1 by 4 By pi raised to power one by four, which implies two beta square by pi raised to power one by four. So this is the value of n. And now put this value of n in the expression of psi. That is in equation sixth. Put this value of n in equation sixth. put value of n in equation 6 we get expression of psi that is n e raised to power minus beta square x square so we have psi is equal to 2 beta square by pi raised to power 1 by 4 e raised to power minus beta square x square and this wave function it represents gaussian function because this is the expression of gaussian curve so this is the wave function gaussian wave function for gaussian wave packet for which the product of uncertainty in position and momentum will be minimum that is h cut by 2 so next is how this psi it will vary according to x as this expression is the expression of gaussian wave function so when we will plot this psi variation of psi with x then what it will be it will be a gaussian curve so here we have plotted the variation of psi x along y axis with x along x axis and we have obtained this curve and this is there are two curves this solid curve it is for small value of beta and this dotted curve it is for large value of beta how you can see the expression of psi which is this if beta is small if this beta is small it means its amplitude will be small and one another thing if beta is small then this term it approaches to zero but very slowly because e raised to power negative term e raised to power negative power 
सो ई रेज टू पावर माइनस बीटा स्क्वायर सो इफ द वैल्यू ऑफ बीटा इज स्मॉल देन दिस एक्सपोनेंशियल टर्म इट विल अप्रोच टू जीरो और इट विल डिक्रीज एक्सपोनेंशियली बट वेरी स्लोली वाई बिकॉज दिस बीटा इज स्मॉल सो इफ दिस एक्सपोनेंशियल टर्म इट डिक्रीजेज टू जीरो वेरी स्लोली इट मीन्स साई अप्रोचेज टू जीरो वेरी स्लोली सो दैट्स वाई फॉर स्मॉल वैल्यू ऑफ बीटा एम्पलीट्यूड इज डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू बीटा एम्पलीट्यूड इज टू बीटा स्केयर बाई पाई सो एम्पलीट्यूड ऑफ साई इज डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू बीटा सो इफ बीटा इज स्मॉल सो एम्पलीट्यूड विल बी स्मॉल इफ बीटा इज लार्ज एम्पलीट्यूड विल बी लार्ज एंड वन एंड अदर थिंग इफ बीटा इज स्मॉल देन ई रेज टू पार नेगेटिव ऑफ स्मॉलर टर्म इट मीन्स दिस एक्सपोनेंशियल टर्म इट विल अप्रोच टू जीरो बट वेरी स्लोली सो दैट्स वाई यू कैन क्लियरली सी एंड इफ बीटा इज लार्ज देन दिस एक्सपोनेंशियल टर्म इफ बीटा इज लार्ज देन दिस एक्सपोनेंशियल टर्म इट विल अप्रोच टू जीरो रेडिली सो इट विल क्विकली अप्रोच टू जीरो so that's why the curve for large beta it approaches to zero quickly and the curve for small value of beta it approaches to zero very slowly and the shape of this curve it is symmetric about y axis which is psi axis so every gaussian curve is symmetric about y axis so from here it is clear that the curve is a Gaussian curve. So now next we have the properties of Gaussian wave packet. What are the properties of Gaussian wave packet? First property is any wave packet which is associated with the particle which is in motion, for which the product of two uncertainties it is minimum. It must have the shape similar to the Gaussian curve, like this. Second property of Gaussian wave packet is that the maximum value of psi it is at x is equal to 0 the maximum value of psi it is at x is equal to 0 and how it can be calculated by putting x is equal to 0 in the expression of psi so we will have e raised to power 0 e raised to power 0 is 1 it means the value of psi is equal to n which is 2 beta square by pi raised to power 1 by 4 so this is the maximum value of amplitude of psi at x is equal to 0 then when in the expression of psi here we have the expression of psi n e raised to power plus minus beta square x square and when in this expression here we have omitted this positive sign so just take negative sign and when we will put this x is equal to either plus beta or minus beta then we will have 1 by beta square instead of x square so this beta square and beta square will be cancelled out so here we have psi is equal to n e raised to power minus 1 means n by e and 1 by e is 0.368 it means when x is equal to either plus beta or minus 1 by beta at that time the amplitude the value of psi falls to 0.368 of maximum value that is n so at x is equal to plus minus 1 by beta means on both sides of y axis the amplitude becomes 36.8% of the maximum value it means amplitude falls symmetrically on both sides of y axis so next property is that in this graph it is symmetric about y axis or you can say that psi axis or you can say that about x is equal to 0 line and along y axis its behavior is asymptotic behavior and what is this asymptotic behavior the behavior of the curve along x axis it is a asymptotic one means asymptotic behavior is a behavior when the distance between any curve and the axis it approaches to zero when x approaches to infinity and it is same in this case so that's why the behavior is an asymptotic along x axis 
and this we have already discussed that for large beta amplitude is directly proportional to beta so amplitude will be large but because variation of psi with the x it is proportional to e raised to power minus beta square x square so for large value of beta this exponential term it will decrease more readily to zero more quickly to zero so that's why the fall of amplitude is faster in case of larger beta and the fall of amplitude is slower in case of small beta and last property is when this beta will approach to zero what is amplitude amplitude is 2 beta square by pi so when beta approaches to zero means amplitude of the curve will become zero if amplitude becomes zero means curve will become flat and when we will increase this beta its amplitude will increase and curve will become narrower so this is all about this topic properties and gaussian wave packet this is one of the most important topic of this chapter